as part of a project to commemorate the 75th anniversary of Keio University's Faculty of Science and Technology, the university has started an innovative research project involving the industrial, government, and academic sectors. This project is called the Keio Innovation Foundry, or KIF. Its participants have formed a consortium to co-develop technologies from the Faculty of Science and Technology that are close to having commercial applications. The aim is to pursue a diverse range of joint research, with lively interchange among researchers in all three sectors. One of the research projects is Development of Microthermofluidic Devices for Life Science Research led by Associate Professor Rio Sudo in the Department of System Design Engineering. To develop microthermofluidic devices for life science research, Sudo's group is combining microculture devices for 3D organ reconstruction, developed from the viewpoint of bioengineering and biomems, with detection systems based on thermal engineering and optical mems. え、Microthermofluidic devices are microfabricated chips through which fluids can flow. By placing cells in such devices and making the environment inside replicate that in a living organism, the formation of tissues and organs by cells can be controlled through engineering principles. Professor Sudo's group is using microfluidic devices for four types of cells. The aim is to develop new technologies in the fields of regenerative medicine, tissue engineering, and the cancer microbiomechanics. 例えば、私たちの研究では肝臓の再生に取り組んでいますが、バラバラの細胞は直径が20マイクロメートルの小さな粒なんですけれども、それが綺麗に並んで立体的に組み合わさることによって3次元の立体的な臓器を作成しています。While working on reconstruction of livers and blood vessels, the pseudo lab has also started to research how to combine them to construct more complex 3D tissues. By combining capillaries with liver tissues, the aim is to not just construct 3D cell clusters, but construct functional tissues with capillary networks. Also, if it becomes possible to reconstruct miniature livers in microfluidic devices, it will also be possible to construct other organs in the same devices and investigate how the organs interact in the human body. Reconstructing such metabolic networks on chips will be useful in research on new biological insights. え、現在マイクロ流体デバイスを用いた研究は、え、国内外で盛んに研究が進められていまして、様々な組織、臓器を再生することが可能になりつつあります。え、我々のグループでも肝臓や血管の再生に取り組んでいますが、え、今後はこれらをいかに組み合わせて複雑な3次元組織、臓器を構築していくかということが取り組む、取り組んでいます。